Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's the 20th of October 2022. I'm really sorry about yesterday. I made a, what I would have thought quite a good video and it just would not upload. I don't know what was going on with the energy yesterday or Facebook wouldn't upload it, YouTube wouldn't upload it. I don't know, I don't know if it was my computer. Anyway, that was yesterday, today's a new day so we're gonna try again. Um, so I'm gonna probably try and amalgamate the two of what I was talking about um, yesterday and what I'm going to talk about today. So, um, today's energy, um, I just want to talk a little bit about Saturn. It's currently still in retrograde, but it's it's coming to an end on the 22nd, 23rd of October. So I just wanted to flag up um, the elements of what that's bringing up for people at the moment so that you can just focus your intention on any last bits and pieces that you may want to um, focus on and heal, resolve. Or if you're having stuff come up and you're not sure what the hell's going on, <laughs> which happens, doesn't it? Um, it may be the Saturn retrograde just giving you that last push. So, the Saturn retrograde um, is connected to you co to creating authentic work. So working from the heart, it doesn't matter if you're in a career, working for yourself, on this, working spiritually as a healer or in any other job, come from the heart, yeah, be authentic and, and what you do and enjoy what you do. Um, it's also about being responsible for ourselves, so looking after ourselves. But I also want to add here, it's about looking at responsibility as a whole, what you're responsible for and what you're not, okay? Because we do take other people's stuff on, don't we? So uh, you are only responsible for yourself and anyone under the age of 18. So just be mindful of that and let go. Take that responsibility backpack off your back, Um and let people learn their own lessons. I bang on that about that a lot, but it is important and it's not always easy to step back and watch others make mistakes or fall, but it is their path and they have lessons to learn on that pathway. And if you just try and manoeuvre that, you know, they're just going to get bigger lessons or having to repeat them. And we don't want that, do we? So it's also a Saturn's energy at the moment is a push-pull energy. So it's be stop-start. So it's when it's teaching you when to stop and go within and when to move forward and act, take action. And that worked really well with the Mercury retrograde, which we are um, I'll talk about that in a moment. But post we're in, we're finishing the post-Mercury retrograde now. So we haven't got that aspect of Mercury taking us back, but we've got Saturn just bringing us backwards and forwards um, and just looking at that, when to stop, when to rest, when to go within, when to meditate, when to take action, when to speak, when not to speak, I just heard. Um, so do some gratitude work. Um, also, some uh, it's connected to self-discipline and commitment and disconcernment. That's the energy of Saturn. Post retrograde, Mercury retrograde, we finishes today. So we're out of that Mercury retrograde energy. Um, so have a look and write in your journal of the lessons you've learned over the last six weeks and think about what's changed for you, um, what you've learned and be grateful for getting through it and for the lessons that you've learned and then reflecting and writing in your journal because it's now time to take action and don't forget you've got Saturn as well so it's going to pull you back so it's not a flight well some of you will fly and just get on with it and some will feel quite tired and depleted and want to retreat for today maybe okay and then you start to take action so taking time to action what you've learned, um, the next, uh, and when we do this, when we take the action, the next retrograde of Mercury is a lot less <sighs> challenging is the word I'm being given. You know, it will flow much more when we action what we've learned. Because it's all very well learning, but if you don't action it, you're not moving forward, you're still staying where you are. So you repeat it again. You don't want to be doing that. So... 
The next Mercury retrograde, the last one of 2022, starts on the 29th of December. Um, so you've got from now, so a bit of a month and a bit, to action what you've learned. Yeah? Right. I also want to talk about the automated chakra, which is what I spoke about yesterday, at the back of the neck. It's where your occipital um, dip is here. Um, it is a massive portal um, for spirit to come in um, and anything else to come in, I want to say. So we forget, we tend to cleanse and clear our crowns, our third eyes, and we tend to forget this point. And this point on the back of your neck, the auto major chakra, is really important because it governs not only your neck, but your shoulders, your throat, your, I'd say, higher heart as well, your eyes, your ears, your head, your third eye, and your crown to some extent. So it is an important chakra to keep cleansed. Now, it comes... I've been, it is on the teal ray, and if you use Amanda's sprays, it's this one, beautiful, it's one of my favourite, favourite sprays, and I'm going to spray it in a moment, it smells divine, um, I've also got a coaster with the Metatron cube on, and that connects you to clear, helping to clear your throat, upgrading your third eye, re, um, relaxing your shoulders, I'm so bad at that, I'm always like this, relax, relax your shoulders and upgrading and cleansing the ears so you can hear, so you've got the third eye to see more clearly, your ears to hear more clearly, your throat to speak with truth and love. So it's a really powerful coaster if you haven't got this one. Treat yourself. I have now been able to pass on um, a reduction to you all. Um, these are now £9 instead of 11 because I've found a cheaper printer. And I wanted to give you the saving rather than making more profit. I, and that was my gift to, to get these out in the world, really, because they are really powerful when you work with them. So you can place this on the back of your neck or even on the front here on your throat. Or you can place your beverages on it or your water. Let the energy charge for about 10 minutes into that and then drink your water or your beverage and you're getting all of the um, colour, vibration, the sacred geometry and the affirmations. And also sycamore seed, which is the homeopathic remedy infused the energy of in this coaster. Sycamore seed is really great for when you're going to see a chiropractor or an osteopath or a cranial osteopath because it loosens all the ligaments in, in the neck and shoulders so that your adjustments can be easier. That's just one of the things it does. Um, if you pop on my website, I've written on detail there about the, the um, homeopathic remedy within that. But it's a great one to have. But what I wanted to talk about was the colour. So when I was meditating the other day and trying to clear my alter major of cords because I could feel them there, I sprayed Amanda spray and I'm just going to spray it, but I'm just going to hold my neck here because I've got my stitches still in from my op, which are coming out tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, I just love this spray. I'm just holding my stitches because the day before I sprayed it and it stung like hell. I took that as a positive though, healing. So I've had my um, basal carcinoma cut out just below my alter major, which is why it is unsettled. That feels so good. But what I wanted to say is when I was in meditation, I could see this white column of light coming down with teal on the edge. So the main focus was pure white light with the teal. And I think that is becoming more and more um, connected. It's, it's like it's having a, there's a white light within each colour is all I can describe. And if you think about it, white light governs all of the colours of the rainbow. So we're getting the teal, which we're associating to um, the alter major, but we're also getting that white, which is all the colours. So whatever we need, it's awesome. Also, if you're feeling neck ache, pain, cover your alter major up, protect it, 
you know if you think you're you know it's quite nice to do that when you're doing healing work so that you're protected anything coming in or anything you may pick up it's a great way to protect it so i've got my orange healing scarf off to, on today so let's pull some cards i know i'm going over a little bit more on time today but i just wanted to it was felt really important that i bring that message through which i tried to do yesterday so work your light oracle deck which is the deck i used yesterday so let's see what card metatron wants to give us this thursday morning it's pouring with rain here so nice and cleansing Ooh. okay so we got two oh we've got three cards so don't dim your light to fit in so shine brightly does it say how are you dimming your light in order to fit in yeah you don't need to fit in you will attract the people around you that are on your vibration so you don't need to dim your light to fit into others be who you are shine your light not everybody's going to like you not everybody's going to understand what you're saying and that's okay move on to the next person that does understand you do never ever dim your light because your light is so needed on the planet right now what else have we got mitakana Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So we're connecting into that energy today. Beautiful. Is she a mermaid? Yeah, the mermaid energy. Wanting to connect to home, to source. So I'm going to read that card in a second. But we've also got inner temple. Go within. Go into the healing temple of Atlantis if you need to. Lay on that crystal bed and recharge and heal. Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Yeah, if something's not sitting right or you can't get a clear answer, hand it over to your heart energy. Open that heart, connect to your heart. And when you connect into your heart, you're not in ego. Hand over everything to your heart. And then ask the question. You may get the answer in that moment. Or you may get that answer when you're meant to get it. Divine timing. Just connect into your heart. Okay. Right. I like that. Your own inner temple. Remember you have that. Your own inner wisdom. Let me look up this Mintaka. Tarkin. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, does it? Um, 116. Right, so it's a longing for home. Right, I mean, Tarkins are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation of Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakan's home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakans feel most at peace at home when in or around crystal clear water. They are here to teach us to see the potential in everything and the light in all beings. Many Mintakans have an old, uh, odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pulled this card, it could mean that you are a Mintakan or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where that is. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and ye yearn for a place on earth to call your own. If so, you're being called to connect with Mother Earth and create it for yourself now. Choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. Hold this card to your heart and I'm going to do this for us all. I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and call in the perfect home. 
So some of you may be looking for a new home or feeling the home that you have no longer serves you. I know I'm in that situation. Um, it was our marital home and I'm here until my daughter finishes college. And I know that this home no longer serves me, but I have to stay for another two years. So I am 100% trying to make it as homely and comfortable and loving space as I can until that time. But I'm now starting to look at where I want to go because I can go anywhere I want. And um, it's exciting and scary at the same time, but it's going to be my home. A home that I choose with those that I'm taking with me. Our home. Our home, our self space and a new start. So I send you lots of love. Sorry for this video going on a little bit longer than normal, but I needed to get that message with the auto major. Make sure you're cleansing and clearing it with teal and white light. Asking my tool to come in and cut those cords of connection. Clear it out and put a, you could even put a nice blue shield of Michaels on the back of your auto major if you want to with a filter so that all good can come through but anything of a lower vibration is collected and transmuted with the violet flame. Lots of love, take care of yourselves, bye for now.